It's episode 6 of Score 1, Still 1, where today we are playing three matches in the Premier League. Why am I talking like this? I do not know. Here's the rules for those of you that just want a reminder of the rules. They're on the screen for you. Let's turn that off and get on with today's video where we are going to be taking on West Brom, West Bromwich Albion, Liverpool and Southampton. We've been a little bit up and down of late, haven't we, in the last couple of episodes. Not many goals going on. Hopefully today the, the, it will be a treat and we'll have a feast of goals for you to feast your eyes upon. <laughs> right, so as you can see I've changed it rather a lot ahead of this West Brom game, mainly because we've lost Gilfie Sigurdsson and also my wingers have been injured, Richie's injured, Halston's suspended, he's not a winger but you know, what am I talking about, I don't know. Callum Wilson's injured as well so Peloshi's coming in up front alongside Diego Costa and I'm playing a ridiculous formation with complete wing backs and also full backs because I've got an abundance of full backs at the moment. I'm, <laughs> I'm one for trying out things, aren't I? Those of you that watch my Bayern Munich series will know I like to try some crazy formations. So here we go. Let's see how we do against 19th placed West Brom. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see how this crazy fullback, complete wingback formation works. Against a team we should be beating their 19th, but they've got a pretty deadly lineup up front. Berahino and Rondon. Rondon used to score bucket loads of goals back in the old, sort of like FM11, FM12 ridiculously good striker but let's go and thrash West Brom and steal some of their players gone for a counter tactic Peloshi hasn't done anything for me all season so far but we'll see how he does alongside Diego Costa now that Callum Wilson's out well this is boring nil nil zero shots after 25 minutes I think it just went up for West Brom then but after 20 minutes it was zero shots each that is like the most boring game ever. But here we go. We've got a highlight at last. Can Neon do anything here? Into Diego Costa. He's been tackled. That's poor. But we're back on the ball. Into James McCarthy. Grimes. Out wide to Luke Shaw. Getting full. Great cross here. Peloshi should have scored. What is he doing? Missing from a yard out. Heading it against the crossbar. The prune. Corner. Grimes whips it into the near post. It's knocked away. And now Berahino can break for West Bromwich Albion. Come on, guys, get in. Oh, Monreal does well. Monreal making his debut for Swansea, remember, after we stole him from Arsenal. And that's a good save by Fabianski. I don't know what's going on, though. Like The, the games have just suddenly... The goals have dried up in these games over the last recent fixtures, and it's it's a bit frustrating in a way. <laughs> right, here goes Berahino, who opens the score, and they steal a player off us. Ugh. Diego Costa's having a terrible game. I'm going to change his role. We're going to play him as a good old-fashioned target man. See if that makes a difference. And we're going to go a bit more... Yeah, we're already on direct, actually. Let's go attacking. Needs to be done. Uh, Grimes is going to go as an attacking central midfielder. Nothing is going on. I need to... Ch it's not working. This tactic, I've decided, doesn't work. So Luke Shaw is going to go forwards. Neil's going to go forwards. I'm going to play Wayne Routledge on the right-hand side. And Luke Shaw... Will be an attacking winger, see how he does on the actual wing as opposed to wing back. This this has been poor, a really poor game. We've done nothing. And here we go West Brom, who make it two and kill the game off surely. Rondon with the goal. I said those two strikers could be deadly, and they they have. They've they've destroyed me. Peloshi's gonna come off, he's been awful. On comes Emnes. And that's it. A terrible performance from us. Really terrible. And Maybe I should have just stuck with the normal tactic and tried to fit players into the, the positions. I just didn't have enough players in certain positions and really poor performance from us. Worst defeat of the season in my opinion. I know we lost 5-1 to Chelsea but we didn't even steal a West Brom player today. So I'm going to lose my two best performing players on the day. Which is a toss up between four players. Disciglio, Fernandez, Grimes and Alan Neom. Oh no wait sorry Jordi Amat is a uh, the best. So the, the second best will be between those four. Goodbye, Geordie. I'm losing my centre backs actually. Dropping like flies. And the other four, I need to use the randomizer. I can't divide 18 by 4 though, so I'm going to have to just use a normal rend number randomizer. Let's use this bad boy. Enter lower limit, 1 and number 4. So it's 1 to 4, the players. And it's going to be number 2 that we lose. So the second 
So it's not Disciglio. We're losing Fernandez. Oh no, I've lost my other centre back. What's going to happen? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> disaster. So it's ninth against eighth in the league. Swansea versus Liverpool, and I've reverted back to the tactic that defeated Arsenal. I'm struggling defensively, central defensively. Fullbacks are fine. Morinell's got injured for four weeks, so that's a bit of a blow because he was going to play centre back. So I'm going to have to play y the youngster Stephen Kingsley at centre back. I think he's probably a bit better than Neil Taylor. Uh, at centre back, I've got no sub keeper. Well, I've got Oliver Davies. Probably should put him in the team. There we go. Oliver Davies is in the team as my sub keeper, the youngster. And I've gone with Gomez as a target man. Diego Costa is going to play as a poacher. Let's see if that works. We're going to have to watch out for the likes of Coutinho, Benteke. Uh, but I'd like to. Uh, a player I'd like to nick is definitely Coutinho or some sort of winger, maybe Firmino. We need someone because I'm playing Mark Pugh today on the right hand side and. Wayne Routledge on the left. They've gone for a 4-4-1-1 formation. They're playing Firmino up front, in fact, with Coutinho behind. Let's see what happens. Gone back to my slightly more attacking tactic. <laughs> Mignolet with the free kick there. Skirtle back to Mignolet. Interesting. Oh, they're just playing one-twos between each other here. But Oh, McCarthy does well, but they've won the ball back. Here's Nathaniel Klein. I love the name Nathaniel. Cracking name. Here goes Firmino, and it's 1-0. We've lost a player to Liverpool. This isn't going to go well today, this episode, is it? One episode were very good. The next episode were really poor. It's just... It's too polarised here. And what is that? What is the point in that, Diego Costa? You've scored one goal for me. What the hell? I thought, yes, I've nicked a really good player from Chelsea here. He has been terrible. Oh, just so awful. It's literally done nothing for me. What is even the point? And here go Liverpool again, looking dangerous. Coutinho, it's 2-0. This is... No, this is not good. Before this episode, we were actually very high in the table, doing rather well. And just, you know, just the smaller stones can have an impact. We lose 2-0 to West Brom. We lose both of our good centre-backs. I've got no centre-backs left, in fact, after... Amas and Fernandes have now been stolen. And we've done nothing once again in this half. Like, it's so frustrating that we're doing nothing. Dropping like flies now. We're not even scoring goals, which is a real problem. Because we're going to end up losing so many players today. Let's try this. Going for something a, a bit more attacking. Very attacking, in fact, looking at this. <laughs> Corner to Liverpool. And... Oh, it's three. Milner scores. This has been a disaster. My team's been completely blitzed. We we need to at least try and steal one Liverpool, Liverpool player here. Come on, guys. McCarthy out wide to Disclegio. Oh, Pelosi gets his first goal at bloody... Oh, it's offside. Ah! Alberto, you prune. This time, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to be a fourth for Liverpool. Destroying my defence today. Coutinho, it's 4 now. I'm going to lose my four best rated players on the day. That could be anyone. It could, they're all, they've all been awful. So here they go. It's saved by Fabianski. And that's the end of 4 nil thrashing at home to Liverpool. Okay, so I'm losing my four best players. So I'm definitely using Johnny Halson, which is a real blow. Fortunately, the fact that they scored four goals, they can't actually pick players from me, can they? <laughs> it works the other way around. James McCarthy, he's going. And then it's the two players on 6.7. So that's Luke Shaw and Peloshi. Really don't care about Peloshi, but losing Luke Shaw. Wouldn't mind if someone took Diego bloody Costa off me. Useless player. And there we go. The, the team is just so small now. It's disastrous. It really is. Oh, no. I mean, this. it was going quite well for me. And inevitably, this is going to happen at some point where it just goes horribly wrong. I need to try and score a goal just to nick a player off someone, a decent player. We are currently 281k above our wage budget after all those players leaving. We've lost six players for no reply today. So I've moved a few reserve team players to the first team simply because so many problems. I'm actually going to play Josh Vickers on the bench instead of Oliver Davies. He's apparently slightly better. And this is the team that's going to be facing Southampton in today's last game of the episode. Uh, the defence, the centre-back partnership is awful. <sighs> Diego Costa and Gomez up front. Swap them around. Emnez is going to be playing as an inside forward. 
Richie's back, which is good. I'll play him as an inside forward as well. And we've got Grimes and Fulton in central midfield now that we've lost McCarthy and Halson. So Southampton also playing a 4-4-1-1. Ward Prowse behind Pele. So Diego Costa has one goal and one assist in 11 appearances. He is useless. I mean, oh, I, I don't like him. I don't like him on this game. If I was managing Chelsea, I would sell him. I'm sure there's Chelsea fans out there that, that love him. Good player. Scores goals for you. But pff, don't like him on this game. He's done nothing. And here's Southampton with a corner early on. And it's somehow not gone in the back of the net. We're being overrun in midfield. Mainly because we don't have any midfielders. I'm going to take off Gomez. And bring on Tom Dyson to hoover up the opportunities at Southampton. <laughs> that was awful. And that Southampton uh, create. He's going to play in central midfield on his debut. Dyson, great name. And um, we're just going to play Diego Costa up front as a target man. Gone, let's go standard flexible. Come on, guys. Come on, Matt Ritchie. Create something. Here's Dyson. Lovely ball in. Diego Costa. Bah! It won't go in for him. It was a fantastic save by Stecklenburg, to be fair. 0 0 would be okay. I would lose my top scorer, who I have no idea who it would be. Maybe Gomez, actually. So I do actually have an idea who it might be. I tell a lie. Routledge is going to come on. Because if it's 0-0, we swap top scorers, remember? That hasn't happened yet. We haven't had a 0-0 draw. But here's Southampton. Uh-oh. Oh, bloody hell. It's 1-0. Charlie Austin scores. We need to go attacking. Attack, guys. Attack of the clones. Fulton's going to go in the middle. Sigurdsson's old position. Losing Sigurdsson was the worst thing possible. It's just gone to pot since then. Okay, we've gone back to my original formation few tactical differences but it's pretty much uh, quite similar to my original thing that that worked reasonably well for us but at the moment this could be the first episode where I haven't scored a goal it's, it's been truly awful today I need to go and seriously think about something <laughs> to turn this around because it could just be completely downhill from here what happens if I get sacked I don't know I'm not I haven't really thought about what happens if I get sacked by Swansea oh nothing is going on help go route one just do everything that's oh, it's not worked it's just not ah we're gonna lose one nil again and lose my best player on the day whoever that is so i'm losing to Scl scliglio who was actually man of the match and he's my best player at the club now and we've lost him today has been a disaster and this is the team now as it stands it's not good it really isn't good i mean the strikers on paper look decent but they're not doing it for me who's my top scorer it's Gomez with two bloody goals. We've only had... There's only four players. No, four goals in the entire team left. That's hilarious. Look how bad that is. That is just so bad. So next episode, episode seven, will be Palace, West Ham and Stoke. We'll do three matches once again. So watch out for that episode. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying the series. It was atrocious today. I apologise on behalf of the players. And George apologises too. But we're going to be back to our best in the next episode. I'm determined. I'll see you then.